Hello Heartstoppers, hello Slayers, welcome or welcome back. Today we're reacting to episode 2 of season 3 of Heartstopper. This one is called Home. Yeah, Home. Really cute. A lot has went down already in just a 32 minute episode last week. Charlie said I love you, Nick said I love you back, Tara Jones needs some space from Darcy, which is interesting, but they're definitely the most progressed relationship, which I like, lesbians would be. Tao and Elle are doing fantastic. Isaac is probably an on an asexual journey. I didn't get enough Imogen, who is one of my faves. I didn't get enough Tori, who is one of my faves. It's so crazy that the books, I think, starring Tori, and she's not even in the series, really. So I hope we continue to get more of her. Or, like, I would be so down for a Tori spinoff show. Please. They can do so many spinoff shows to this show. I would love that. Yeah, I'm excited to get right into this. If you guys want to see the uncut reaction check out my patreon link will be below it's all in the description i have youtube memberships as well but if you prefer the youtube edit i appreciate you guys so much and let's get into it One, two, three. Hey! Hey, favorite nephew cute okay we're good cool. how are you i'm good thank you how do oh my god the pictures kill me Oh, wait, I didn't even touch on that. I'm so happy he didn't send that. Do what? You know what? You know what? You bugger. Yeah. And he said it back? Yeah. I want Told him you. to be more Shut opened up. with her. So we were in the sea, and... Tell her. He said that he was worried that I... Dang it. Mm -hmm. huh? I hey. feel like she might know already. We just got here. The villa's huge. Uh, Nick, I... English. Charlie. Just connect her Wi-Fi. Uh, Charlie, I don't see any tidy. Oh, hang on. Nick, I... <laughs> okay, come on. Put the phone down. You can talk to Nick later. Charlie, yeah? We need to have a talk about Nick anyway. You shouldn't be staying late around his house. You're too young to be having sex. What? I'm worried that you're putting a boy over everything else. Of a boyfriend because of schoolwork? No, you're literally making a problem out of nothing. I'm only saying this because I'm worried about him. Charlie, can we... You were being too harsh. I always say the wrong thing to him. Do we have, uh, do we have the Wi-Fi? Oh, yeah, it's in a folder in the kitchen, love. Are you messaging friends? She's so pretty. I was just talking to my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? <laughs> Well, we have a lot to catch up on, don't we? Yeah. How about once I've unpacked, you give me the full story over a glass of red and some breadsticks? Ooh. Sounds good. That's <laughs> fantastic. <gasps> <gasps> Hi. Hi. I forgot about them. I How did I forget about them? I have chills. Morning. Ah. morning. Oh, good morning. You are playing a very dangerous game. Fun, though. Oh, I know. I'd say. If the kids find out. I know. You'll never hear the end of it. You're going to do amazing. You know, GCSEs, they don't matter that much anyway. It's A levels and then it's uni. And I think you're more stressed about this than I am. This must be like a UK thing. Can I just get a good look here? You absolute weirdo. <laughs> He wouldn't be Teo if he wasn't a weirdo. I'm so tired. Oh my god, this little car. <gasps> so cute. Grand. <laughs> and let me know what day you want to move in. I'm getting your room ready. Found a brilliant rug at the booth. <laughs> oh my wait. god, we love Gran. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Everyone is so adorable. Okay, let's do it. Where's Nick? That's Nick. Great, thank you. No, no. Open them. Okay, 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 okay. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, I ate the drama! <laughs> oh, there's no surprise there. It was like the UK Addison Ray. <laughs> oh, hell no. Well done, Tara. I hope you'll be joining our Roxbridge prep group in September. Oh, yes, yeah, she will. Wait, did Darcy get like left back or did she just fail the class? You so well. Oh, he's having such a good time. We have to have a scene between him and the ant, though. 
Charlie. Charlie just texted. I passed all my GCSEs. Hey, that's yes. fantastic. We really need to meet Charlie. I'm dying to know what he's like. You'll have to bring him around for Christmas. Or hmm? well, you can bring him on holiday next year. <laughs> Are we going to go to Christmas time? I need all the seasons. I need all the holidays with this show. Oh, no. So freaking cute. Well, oh, cool. Cool. Another time, Isaac. Promise, we'll we'll do a movie night soon. Okay, I guess it's just you and me then. Oh, okay. Thank God. I thought he was gonna be alone. Okay. Nah, all good. Another time. Yeah. What? Definitely. What? Oh my God. Guys, I reacted to fellow travelers. You guys haven't checked out my reaction to that. I have it in one compilation video on my channel. I don't want to see mom. Follow up on that convo, girl. Maybe now is not the time. Oh, like Nick did it in one and done and he has to take multiple. Okay, maybe we'll do it all in this episode, which is fun. We'll probably end it with him like coming back home, right? Slay queen. Yes. That just said moving day, right? If we read it and didn't answer, right? You look like a lovesick puppy. Yes. <laughs> Well, I am a qualified psychiatrist, so actually... Oh, of course she is. Do you ever treat people with eating disorders? Sometimes. It's not my speciality, but it tends to go hand in hand with other things. This is what? such an excellent plot line. Just curious. Well, is she going to think it's about him? You need a nice poster of a handsome boy up there. I'm a lesbian, Bram. <laughs> you need a pretty girl up there, then. Perfect. Excellent work. <laughs> Sorry. You've been very tower obsessed. We've hardly seen you. He's been taking me out on a date every day. That's good. Isn't it? Yeah, but he's trying really hard, hard and I'm not sure why. It's tough. He's scared That's I'm going to abandon him if he's not a good enough boyfriend. Aww. He does have kind of low self-esteem, doesn't he? How can I make him feel more confident and relaxed about our relationship? Co uh, communication. Are you really going to spend the one evening? We have with you talking about your boyfriend. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so funny. Do either of you want this skirt? Ages since I wore a skirt outside of school. I'll take that. What you Expecting the mother. Nothing much. What's up? Oh, man. I'm worried. Oh. I love you. Love you too. I mean, I feel like she would have an inkling too about it. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I have the oh. same exact camera. My mum found this when she was clearing out the loft. Oh, something like that. my dad's. He was always using this when I was a little kid, so I thought I'd keep it. Sorry to be a downer. No, no, it's okay. We don't talk about your dad a lot. I've been looking at all the references and like the pop him. culture on the walls and I don't know anything. He was so creative. And like they're from <laughs> older than me. Really Not saying I'm old. He'd always be taking photos of me. I wish I'd sat still. I wish I'd posed. <laughs> mm. That just weirdly reminded me of my yearbook Thinking like I would always hide from the camera And then I wouldn't be in the yearbook And I'd be like oh damn I don't exist <laughs> No 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 <laughs> When's Charlie getting here? He didn't really reply to the group chat <laughs> What movie? I want to know Right you're asking for it. Are you guys going to actually watch this movie oh, or not? Sorry Do you not think it's weird that Charlie hasn't been replying to the group chat? Oh, he's probably with Nick or something But Nick went on he's holiday not. Charlie's been like silent ever since then. I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, also he hates my movie choices, so I bet he didn't want to come. Oh, what how? I I'm gonna head off actually, guys. No! Don't leave. We love you. It's we all good. Love you. No, we'll do this another time. Five more minutes. One of your friends is here. What? I was thinking that. Which one? The one he's always reading? Oh, this would be good. We need to talk about this. Hey, can I come in? At his own pace, yeah. of course. But You're missing movie night. What's going on, Charlie? Relating. You don't want to hang out with us anymore. Our friendship group is just all over the place at the minute. We've barely done anything together all summer, and um, and I'm just feeling a little bit left out, to be honest. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. I I'm just missing Nick a lot, and my mum's been really annoying, and don't feel like doing anything. You promise that's it? Yeah. We could watch that Emma adaptation. Oh, you know that's my favourite. Oh, is that uh, Jane Austen? I gotta add that to my TBR.
I wonder if she's experienced this too. Um, okay. For you? <laughs> Thank you. Leave now because... He's like a handsome little devil. I was thinking we could do something else tonight. Yeah? Episode three. The show is so freaking wholesome and so freaking cute. Back to the reaction. How many times do I have to tell you that I'm not leaving? But it still feels like you might move on. I get it. You've lost someone in the past and you're scared of it happening again. We may not be able to hang out every single day. I love you. Really? Clearly joking. I love you too. I love you so much. Does everyone feel like everyone's in love but them? I don't care. <laughs> Let's go and do nothing. <laughs> that looks delicious. It's this bad? Oh my god. Potatoes, the potatoes. Yes. Charlie, is something wrong? No, I'm gonna eat very much. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. No. Oh, the text. I just gotta go and talk to Charlie. I'll, I'll catch you guys up there. Okay. Oh, this is a perfect time to talk. I've missed you so much. I've missed you too. Are you okay? I was just wondering if you've been eating okay. Charlie. Charlie, are you still there? Mm-hmm. Did you hear what I said? Mm. I think I do have an eating disorder. It's gonna be okay. You can talk to your parents. You can you can get help. I can't talk to them. My mum's not like you. She doesn't listen to me. She gets angry at me. But I don't know what to do. What are you doing? Nothing. Are you in here texting Nick? We're having a family dinner. I wasn't feeling very well. Okay. Well, what's wrong? Don't know. Charlie, you can't keep skipping dinner. You have to eat. I don't feel well. Come on, come downstairs. I'll get you some paracetamol. I have to go. I love you. I love you. Hey. We should probably be heading back soon. At least put the kids to bed. You've had something on your mind this whole holiday. Charlie has an eating disorder. Are you sure? Yeah. He just can't eat sometimes. Been getting really bad recently. I'm trying to get him to talk to me about it, maybe talk to his parents, or I don't know what to do now. I really love him. Oh and I'm God. scared. Oh, come here. Oh. You're a 16 year old kid. That is a lot to put on the shoulders of a 16 year old. I, I don't know how to fix him. I know that you think it's your job to save him. That dependency isn't healthy for anyone. Charlie needs someone who isn't his 16-year-old boyfriend. He needs help from a doctor or a therapist, someone that understands eating disorders and knows how to treat them. I love this woman. So I just can't do anything? No, I didn't say that. You can be there for him, just to talk or listen. So sweet. Okay, that got really heavy. So as someone who hasn't experienced an eating disorder, it's like I can't really speak on it and I don't feel really comfortable speaking on it. Like to me, I'm just like, just eat like one little bite. But I guess it's not like that. I don't know, but having and Diane there for Nick was just so special and so nice. And exactly what she said is exactly the advice to give and what Charlie needs to go through for himself. He needs to talk to someone. And then it's exact advice for Nick how he should be there for Charlie. And it's just about listening and being there for him. But I wouldn't be so much on, I mean, I guess it's fine, but not be, did you eat today? I mean, I don't know, I don't know. Because at a point, yeah, especially if it's, I don't know. I feel like best for the boyfriend just to be there to listen and then have the psychiatrist, therapist, or even the mother or sister to do more of the heavy type of things. I mean, it's a mix. Like, you get it. But damn, I'm excited to have Nick back, I'm sure, back home in the next episode and to be there for Charlie and we could move this along a bit and just have more support for Charlie. He's been 
in his head for these almost three weeks. I'm excited that it's come forward, just like the I Love You storyline. We wrapped it up in this one. I think that is really a good arc, so we could just continue to figure this out. The Tao and L storyline is very interesting and I feel like really relatable, especially for like a young boy who's in love and isn't a fuck boy type of vibe. And just sweet L being just a great girlfriend and like saying I love you, love it. I'm happy Darcy moved out. They're too young to be together like that, in my opinion. Tori, I feel like perhaps she's gone through the same thing, maybe? I could see that kind of being a thing. Isaac, I feel really bad for because I can put myself in that position in the sense of like not having anyone to love but that being said he is asexual he's saying which I don't know I don't mean to be like rude or whatever but does he just think it because he hasn't found the one or is he actually asexual and then though the storyline of him like feeling alone is it rooted in him not having someone to love or him just not having someone to relate to? Just feeling like lonely because everyone else is kind of occupied. Imogen, we didn't get enough of her at all in the past two episodes, but there's a lot of characters in this show, so it's hard to get to her, I feel, I guess. But she has definitely the least of a storyline. We need an Imogen story, a spinoff, I guess. I could see her being like, becoming like an influencer and that like being a storyline and just like drama. Tara Jones, we didn't, don't have much other than her being the one to initiate that she needs her space, which is very interesting and relatable, but probably not as relatable because I feel like especially in young relationships, they need to be together 24 seven. So it's actually very refreshing to actually see that perspective. Cause I mean, I love my alone time, worries me thinking about being in a relationship that I'm gonna lose that and kind of lose myself in the sense of my love for my alone time too. But I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys liked my reaction. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure to continue this journey with me. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. It's Billy, bitch.